the Bards Breathe Easy Service Training. My name is Rick Downey and today we're going to review the MC5000 controller. On the inside of the controller we have our four boards. This is a 5600 that will control up to six units. And this is a, a Ethernet port and the processor is in the touchpad. On the touchpad is where we set the unit up. Now let's go ahead and set a unit up. To set the system up we need to get into the equipment setup first. We're going to choose how many systems we have. Now how many stages? Are they heat pumps? We're not concerned about when to energize the reversing valve. Two stages of electric heat on this system. We could choose mechanical or synchronized. If we choose synchronized, it will advance in pairs. A humidifier present? No. We need to configure the auxiliary output. There are options here that we can select, and if we wire the unit and set it up properly, our damper will spring closed during all of these events. Now we need to set up the system. When setting up twinning, we can select pairs or triples. The lead advances by individual units, so by dropping this down to three days, pairs will be in the lead for six days and then advance. This is our continuous blower logic. We can select on this page by unit number or we can use pre-purge. When an equipment call is initiated, all of the fans will run for a preset amount of time and you set that up in this frame right here. Then we choose our scale, how we're going to measure the temperature, and then we set up our indoor and outdoor sensors if we're using them. How many units are we going to run in generator mode? And this is just our brightness. Next, let's look at the date and time. You can see across here we can scroll up and down to change the date and time. We can calibrate any of the sensors connected to the unit by simply scrolling up or down to change the sensor and then on the right scrolling up and down to change the offset. Here's our IPv4 configuration, or I can select IPv6. When I go to the default settings, I can save everything that I just put in here by pushing Save User Defaults. Whenever I return to the home screen, it's going to save everything, so you have to be patient and wait for this saving in progress to clear. This is a system status screen and it shows us what every single stage is doing on the system. In this screen I can scroll up and down to select what set point I'm changing and on the far right I change that set point. For the self-test it gives me 300 seconds per stage and it will automatically run through that or I can click next stage in the lower left corner or next unit and advance that. If I needed to check something out, if I'm suspicious that something isn't functioning properly, I can push the holds and it will give me 20 minutes. It will give me 1200 seconds. And then I can switch to next unit and get 300 seconds again or cancel the entire process.
I can scroll across the top and look at each unit and see what's going on. For manual test, I start it up system across the top and then choose which stage I want to run. If anything that I run, I'm always going to have to energize G. So I have restore user defaults, restore factory defaults, save user defaults, and format the SD card. If I format the SD card, I'm going to lose everything, including my software. Thank you for reviewing this video with me, and thank you for choosing BARD.